to walk into a chemist and go, ah, uh, hi, uh, got a bit of a headache. Uh, I don't really care if it goes or not. Can you recommend anything for that? Give me the wimps aspirin, I'll have some of that, that's fine. Give me what you take if you bang your head on some candy floss. Why give us a choice? I don't want that. My, my, my vacuum cleaner at home. You know, it's got a thing, you click on it like that, it's on half suction. <laughs> what a great invention. <laughs> I can do all the hoovering, it takes twice as long. <laughs> well, I'm dicing you, genius. You know what, I was one of the first people in this country to get a Dyson, I was. My Dyson is actually now so old, it's had to be fitted with a bag. <laughs> the other ones I want, I want the full strength painkillers, that's what I want, I don't want to mess around. I want the proper ones. ones that, I want painkillers that are so strong you hold them in your hand long enough your arm starts to go numb. <laughs> and take three, you cure your neighbour's headache. Have you taken these before? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> 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 What's it to you? <laughs> Saturday girl. Is he for you? No! It's my mother's birthday. <laughs> I thought I'd get her some decongestion. Can you wrap it? <laughs> while I'm on the subject, while I'm on the subject of chemists, what the heck are they doing backstage there with your prescription when they go out the back with it? What the hell are they up to? Yeah, and in the prescription you need 14 tablets. Mr. D, it'll take 20 minutes. 20 minutes! <laughs> Mr. D, do take a seat, it'll take 20 minutes. Never sit down at the chemist, by the way. Never! That's the loser's seat in town, isn't it? Oh, once you've sat down on the hearing aid beige seat at the chemist, that's it. You're marked out as a loser. You're not there for a comb or toothpaste. The game's up. There's something wrong with your ass. You've got to... <laughs> Mr. D, 20... How can I take 20 minutes? What the heck are they playing at? To, how could it take longer than counting to 14? <laughs> you know what it is? I think he's trying to give the impression that he's making the medicine out the back. That's what he wants you to think, that he's some kind of alchemist and he's got bottles bubbling away, <laughs> smoking, he's mixing it together. The very building blocks of life. <laughs> Mr. D, 20 minutes. He's back there trying to stuff out. <laughs> Mr. D, 20 minutes. <laughs> Take two at bedtime. But for the love of God, lock yourself in, man. <laughs> 20 bloody minutes. OK, he's got to print a little label to go on the bottle. On what is, by the way, the noisiest printer on earth, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it embarrassing when that thing starts up out the back? <laughs> with that as well, would you please? <laughs> it's embarrassing. They might as well be shouting around the shop, what's wrong with you? He's got diarrhoea. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what I saw the other day. This upset me, and I'm a pretty easy-going guy. <laughs> you know what I saw? I saw an ambulance. Big sign on the back of the ambulance, on the back door. Do you know what it said? It said, this is an ambulance, not a taxi. <laughs> this is an ambulance, not a taxi. I know, I can see. I can see. Don't worry. I can tell. I know it's not a taxi. You know how I know it's not a taxi? Because last time I called a taxi, it didn't take three quarters of a fucking hour to arrive. That's how I know. <laughs> While I'm on the subject, can I just ask, is it really strictly necessary in this day and age to have the word ambulance written back to front? on the bonnet of the ambulance. Now, so if you see it in the rearview mirror, it says, I, I know why. <laughs> I know why. I'm just questioning it. See, my point is, if the blue flashing light and the big red cross <laughs> hasn't done it for you, <laughs> just a hunch, 
but I suspect the word ambulance is going to be lost on you as well. <laughs> so I'd like to know if there had ever been anyone in the history of the automobile who was driving along, looks in their rearview mirror and goes, huh, what the heck's this? <laughs> Who's this joker with his blue flashing light and <laughs> big red cross behind me? Well, he's not getting past me. <laughs> what does this say? Eculumbo? What does the hell that mean? getting out of his way. There's some pushy Danish furniture company behind me trying to get past me. You've got to watch it. You've got to. They're all at it. I saw a fire engine. Big sign on the back of the fire engine. You know what it said? It said, smoke alarm, save lives. I thought, yeah, more like save you the bother of getting out of bed to put the fires out, you lazy bastards. <laughs> You've got to watch it. AA vans. Well, Britain's fourth emergency service. <laughs> Right, only in this country could coming forth be a boast. <laughs> what did you say? My God, run her up to bronze. <laughs> well, the fun of taking part, none of the hassle of hanging around for a medal! <laughs> Mountain rescue, they're grumpy bastards, aren't they? <laughs> so you help me down from a hill. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You have no right to criticise my footwear. <laughs> I was wearing flip-flops, I felt like a walk. <laughs> well, volunteer service, you see, Jack. Yeah, and don't you keep banging on about it. Listen, pal, you wanted to rescue people, I wanted rescuing. We both got what we wanted, so shut your face. <laughs> Kendall Mink Cake. <laughs> Bloody mink cake. I was in Kendall on this tour I've been doing. Soon as I arrive in Kendall, everyone, have you had some Kendall mink cake? Do try it. Have some Kendall mink cake. Please, do try it. Let me get out of the car. Can I just first? <laughs> have some Kendall. I, I tried it. Have you tried Kendall mink? It's really very good, actually. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. To the Kendall mink cake. <laughs> if they could add just a little bit more sugar, it would be perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> What a contribution to survival that has been over the years. You go up a mountain, the mist rolls in, you're cold, lonely, tired, hungry, frightened, lost. Take a little nibble of your trusty Kendall mint cake. <laughs> and slip into a diabetic coma. picked up the paper and I thought it would be interesting just to have a look up, just read some of these stories. You can always tell from a local paper, you can tell a lot about an area. And uh, I'm going to just uh, read a couple of the stories here, which I think, is, I think it warrants it. This is the Fulham and Hammersmith Chronicle. Story on the front page. Crack house raid nets huge arsenal. It tells me a little bit about the area. Then I go on. Then I go on to this bit, Shepherd's Bush. A 27-year-old woman had her bag stolen with a thousand pounds of cash in it. <laughs> now, what, what is wrong with that story? Because <laughs> it would be a thousand pounds if you had your bag stolen. And uh, how much money was in the bag when it was stolen? Oh, wow. Uh... I think... A thousand pounds, I think. Shepherd, no one in Shepherd's Bush has ever owned a thousand pounds. This is nice. Ambulance crew deny stealing cash. What a lovely area this is. Oh, you pump his chest, I'll go through his pockets. Rotating school building, a good move. A school building will be rotated to make it easier for students and staff to move between lessons. <laughs> well, there's always a simple solution. <laughs> Firefighters attended a blaze last night when an ice cream van was deliberately set on fire by a gang of toddlers in the Peabody estate. <laughs> This is the one I'm going to take. This is my. This is the headline. I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember the error by this. Alcoholic commits arson in own flat.
you know what? More often, though, it's the classifieds where you really get a sense of the beating heart of a community. This caught my eye immediately. For sale, double pine bed, includes mattress, some stains. <laughs> And the people selling their clothes in the paper, this is, how does this happen? For sale, 12 pairs of men's trousers, size 36 wet.